I'm on Shuffle with the Rockstar Playtime. How are you doing, man? How was the show? What's going through your head? Uh, what's up? I'm honestly literally just chilling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, but the show was amazing. Uh, this is our first time in Phoenix, and it was like dumb lit. Like the crowd, like reaction was like honestly like ten times my expectations. So I'm just like I'm definitely like really like stoked because everyone's also just been really nice, and it's been like. It's been really, really, really cool. So, yeah, but like what's going through my head is I'm just chilling. I'm kind of hungry, honestly. But yeah. <laughs> What are some musicians or artists or music styles that inspired you to start making music? Yo, um, I had like literally every like music phase you could imagine. Like, ev like every possible phase of music you could have, like that was me. So it's kind of hard for me to like pinpoint like what exactly made me want to start because it was always like, because I was always, I was intrigued by music from like literally like since I could talk. So it's one of those things where it's like, I don't really know, but I'll say that like a big like, a big blueprint for me that like made me want to like just do shit was probably like trash talk because it was just like, um, I mean, that whole wave of, like, early, like, Odd Future shit was just, like, it was cool to me because it's, like, I just saw, like, kids just, like, doing, like, teenage shit that was into just skateboarding and goofing off, and then, like, Trash like, starts their band, and they're just into, like, you know, same shit, skateboarding, like, chilling, like, having fun with their friends, and I'm just, like, and that whole time, it's just, like, damn, like, if I could get, like, just a solid crew of people that just wants to do, like, like, be creative with me, and also just, like, you know, do the things I like to do as well. Like, I think that would be so sick. And also, like, my stage presence is really influenced by, like, Lee Spielman. And um, it's, like, a mix of, like, Lee and, like, uh, Lee and Chino from Deftones is a big influence for me. And then just, like, mm -hmm. random, just, like, honestly, just, like, all, like, the, the, hardcore, the hardcore bands that were really, like, going crazy around the 2010s, like, um, like, uh, Blind Justice, like, uh, I think his name's Mike Body, his, like, uh, his fucking sh stage presence has always just been, like, uh, like, cause he's just rowdy as fuck, like, he's, he looks cool, he's got, he got, like, the long hair, all that shit, I'm just like, damn, bro, like, I wanna, like, do shit like that, and I saw, because the first time I saw Blind Justice, I was just like, damn, he's so lit, like, I, that's how I wanna be as a front man type shit, so, you know, it's just like, I, I'm honestly, like, ins I'm not, you know, afraid to say that I'm inspired by like my, I'm in, take inspiration from my contemporaries or people that are just like, might be like doing the same shit I'm doing or just like around the same age as me. It's like, I take inspiration from just about uh, literally everything. That's a long winded answer, but like, you know. Nice dude. Yeah. What are, what are some, um, what do you think the future of hardcore music looks like? Um, I don't think anyone really knows because it's just because where it's at right now is so like um, the post pandemic era of hardcore mm -hmm. is just so interesting because now you get like you have this young influx of people like coming in through it mm -hmm. and it's like not necessarily as different from my, the way like people my age got into it because it's like I mean I'm 26 and like I like literally like YouTube is just like how I like discovered like most of the things I like and that's kind of just how I discovered hardcore so it's like and I just I see no sh I see shows get posted online I'm just like oh shit did these look cool and that's what made me want to come out to shows and it's the same thing I feel like just with newer kids but it's like on a different platform there's kids coming in from TikTok or Instagram and shit like that so I'm like mm -hmm. so I mean um I don't think it, I don't think it's as different as people make it seem to be but it's mm -hmm. also like but th the eyes that's on it now like like where like where it's at and people's like scope of things i feel like it's like bigger than it's ever been and now it's like and now there's more eyes on hardcore than like probably than it ever has been i feel like so um what the f as, i don't really know what the future holds because it's like i'm just i'm just kind of here like for the ride you know like i'm gonna be like I was in this shit when it wasn't cool and I'm in it and I'm gonna be in it when it stops being cool so truly like you know where the future is where it's going like I don't have like a big like real opinion on it or anything like that cause it's just like I'm gonna be here regardless so I'm like you know fuck it <laughs> whatever happens happens nice so there are a lot of new heads here especially in the moshing field what is some moshing etiquette you think that 
um, the new hardcore generation needs to learn? Um, mm, uh, truly, I just, I would like, uh, I guess, newer people to just understand that, like, you know, as much as they are, like, the show would be nothing without them, and I want to, like, you know, get that out of the way. Like, yes, like, it takes y'all's, like, interaction and response to, like, make a band, like, lit, but the show, but also you are not the show. So, like, there's just, um, and you don't want to take attention away from the band to make yourself, like, have, like, your viral moment. So mm-hmm. I would personally just say, like, you know like have fun like do your thing like stage dive mosh hard all that shit but like you know don't like don't stand on the stage like for like a minute and a half <laughs> yeah. be, doing goofy shit like that's like because then because like again you're like you're taken away from the band and you know again like the you i mean the show like the show needs you but you're also not the show mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying so it's like um but you are at the same time, you know, it's, it's weird, but it, it's like, you know, just, you know, be cool, do your thing and just, but also like, you know, like we're, I mean, we're in the internet era now, everything and everyone goes viral, but like, you know, don't like, don't try to be viral because like no one likes that kid that's like trying to be like, I guess the whatever main character, I guess, and <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. the and the shit just um but uh that that's all that's all it really is and also just you know also just read the room um you know and just be mindful of where you're at like i mean yeah just uh that's about it final question who's the realest motherfucker you know <laughs> me nigga fuck you talking about <laughs> he's the main character <laughs> well Shout- <laughs> hey, fuck, fuck whatever I just said, bro. It's just about me, man. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, any, any final words? Um, I really, really love Phoenix. And I really love the scene y'all have here. Um, and just uh, what y'all have is really cool. And, you know, we're in the era, I guess, of, like, sold-out hardcore shows, which I feel like happened before but i don't think it happened as often as it ha- it's happening now mm-hmm. so like keep um so now that there's so many people just coming around keep like and especially like in your if, if you notice that in your city just keep it going make friends like meet people especially if you're young like interact with people like start start bands like contribute you know like keep what you have like driving because it's gonna like make it to where the next generation can come in and they have like something to go to and something to do you know what i'm saying so it's like mm-hmm. um y'all have a really cool thing going on here and i just kind of like you know i want to see it grow because i want to i want to hear about like you know the next like lit hardcore band coming out from phoenix you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like this the same way i want like you know i want to hear like Atlanta hardcore bands like be represented on the on the main scope. I want to see that for Phoenix because I think y'all have a really cool thing going on here, and I just I I personally want to hear about more bands coming out from here, more like just more cool ass shit, and also just like for um you know I want to see it for uh, just cities that don't really like that may not necessarily get that attention. Um, or that or shine on them so mm-hmm. um but yeah y'all have a really cool thing here I, I hope like i just i really would love to see y'all keep it going and make sure it thrives because it's really really cool thanks to inspirational well we're on shuffle check out playtimes and we'll see you later